coffee has no flavor, but it's still like kind of giving me life, so. Hello and welcome to the 29th of June. That means that the Tarim Topple Readathon starts today and it is two o'clock and I have not started reading yet. Not only have I not started reading yet, but I'm still reading The Killing Lessons, which I'm loving, but um, it's not a tome. It's not on my TBR list for this thing. It clocks in at 410 pages, so it's not really even close to counting. But I reckon with some solid effort that I will be able to finish this by the middle of tomorrow at least. Um, and I'm going to the library to pick up a book that's on my list for Term Topple Readathon anyway then, so I think I will be fine. I just wanted to actually start the vlog, but I will catch you up later when I am actually reading. It is about 10.30 I think and I have not updated you because I got really into reading and then realized that I was super hungry and made dinner and then watched a whole bunch of Netflix but I am just about to start reading this again for the night. I already read it quite a bit today. Um, I thought it was going to take me until the end of tomorrow to finish this if I was lucky but I actually only have about 60 more pages to go and I'm going to definitely try and finish it before I go to sleep tonight which is good because that means that tomorrow when I go to the library and pick up um, uh, Monsters, and, uh, Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness I can start that. Hello I'm back it is the next day so it is now the 30th of June. Um, I am about to head off and go to work but first I don't actually start working to one first I'm going to the library to pick up Monsters of Men oh sorry my mum just got home um and maybe look at some other books and then I'm heading to work and then I'm going to my boyfriend's house I haven't read anything else this morning but I did finish The Killing Lessons last night actually that's a lie I started reading The Invention of Hugo Cabaret which is on my list um and I'm like like far into that because it's mostly pictures but I'm really liking that I'm taking that in my bag I'm going to read that on the tram before I get to the library it is probably very windy and I'm sorry about that but look what I have in my hands um, I went into the library early I start working about half an hour but I got to the library about an hour and a half ago so it's so loud probably for you guys the wind um, and library oopsies point is that I got this book I also got distracted by the fact that I was in the library and got two other books which I totally didn't need it is now Sunday the 1st of July the third day of the Tome Topple Readathon I did not update you last night because I was on the bus and then I went to my boyfriend's house but right now I am waiting at the bus stop again um, heading home I read about a hundred pages of Monsters of Men yesterday and I'm thinking that I'm gonna be able to get through maybe 200 pages pages of it today which is really exciting also Camp NaNoWriMo starts today so I'm hoping to get about uh, 800 pages of that down but I will catch up with you later today right now I'm just sitting in the cold 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 winter sun which looks beautiful but is freezing and enjoying a coffee okay so now I'm in the bookstore and I've done more reading today and I got up to page 214 by the way but now I'm struggling because the buying of people who sort of put out their TBR their reading challenges and um, I am definitely reading The Wicked Deep, so I'm at the bookstore getting this. But one of the other challenges is to read an own voices book, and I was going to get The Poet X. But the bookstore doesn't have The Poet X, but they have Dear Martin, and they also have The Hate You Give. And I can't decide which one to get. But then I noticed that they have The Astonishing Colour of After, which isn't an own voices book but is an expected five star read and also just a really nice book so now I can't decide between these three books which one to get and it's stressing me out and I need help and I know that whatever one I don't get I will end up buying later but I don't know which I am stressing and of course I am horrible and it is now 9 30 and I've not given you any other catch-ups today as you can see I am in my dressing gown I just read for about an hour and it was really good I'm at page 315 of Monsters and Men which is 600 pages long I'm now going to stop take a break have some tea try and do some writing for Camp NaNoWriMo and hopefully I will be able to come back and read some more tonight I'm getting through this book super super quickly and I'm hoping that I am able to start Jonathan Strange tomorrow night 
Hello and welcome to Monday the 2nd of July. As I said last night, I'm doing very, very well on the Term Table Readathon so far. I have read nearly 400 pages of this, which is really good because I started at halfway through Saturday. I'm loving it. I don't want this series to end. I'm very sad, but I'm going to a doctor's appointment now. Um, I think I will have some... Ah, where's the light? There. Um, I think I'll have some time before that to check out a bookstore and then I'm just coming home. Maybe I'll go to the library. Um, I'm doing some writing for Camp NaNoWriMo. I hit above my goal yesterday. Sorry, I thought my tram was arriving. Um, anyway, and also sorry that I keep looking at the thing. I did, I'm used to the, you know. Um, yes, that is all. I'm thinking that I will probably get started on Jonathan Strange tonight or tomorrow morning. Yes. Am I awkwardly sitting at the train station talking to myself? You bet I am. Um, I just got back from my appointment and I'm heading home. I also just got a text from the library saying that the book that I borrowed is in, which means that I can go to the library, pick it up, return Monsters of Men, which I will hopefully have finished by then, pick that up and then come home and film my TBR for the Buy a New Bibliothon, which I filmed yesterday but failed because I'm a shit. Anyway, I went to the Paran Library which is exciting, but not really, because I didn't actually need to get anything, but I did get things, of course. I got Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I also got a graphic novel about Nick Cave, because why not? And then another graphic novel called This One Summer, which sounds really cute. I am on page 487 of 601 of Monsters of Men. As I said, I'm going to finish this before I go to the library. 3.30 and I was about to sit down and film my Buy a New Bibliothon TBR, which will be up by the time that you are seeing this, but I've decided that I'm going to spend this time to finish this book. I don't usually cry in books. Maybe I will. It's gonna be a lot. Hello, I'm back. It's your girl, the worst vlogger in the world. It is now <clears throat> Wednesday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday and it is about 5.30 and I haven't vlogged at all today. But that was because I was at my boyfriend's house and today we just kind of slept in and then we went to the shopping centre and just looked around and I'm about to get on the bus which means I will have about two hours to get a good chunk of reading done. I will read tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm not doing anything so I will be able to read a lot. I'm not loving Jonathan Strange. I'm just about to start reading for the night before I go to bed. Um, the reason why I didn't vlog after, it hasn't actually been that long to be fair, I did get on a bus at like 5.30. Um, I read a lot on the bus. I've decided to stick with it and not change over to Air of Fire. Um, I'm at about page 150. I want to try and get to... I'd love to get to page 200 tonight, but I think I'll get to 180. It is 7.30 in the morning, if you can't tell by the magnificent bags under my eyes, and this is the earliest I've woken up in a long time. Um, I'm going to help my stepdad today with a job in the morning and that should only take a few hours. I should be back here by like 10.30 maybe. Um, and then I will get some reading done and some writing done and I'm hoping to get a lot done today. Hello. So the plans for today changed a little bit. The original plan was that I was gonna work for my stepdad just for a tiny bit in the morning, be done by like nine, be home by 10, do some stuff and then go and babysit. But I actually ended up staying with my stepdad, helping him out until about 11.30. Got home 
like after 12 and then the woman who I was gonna babysit for called and said she didn't need me so currently I am walking to the bus stop I'm about to catch a bus to go to spotlight to buy some candle wax because I'm going to now come home and film the bookish Etsy challenge I think that's what it's called for um, the buy any bibliothon I am reading this Still, I have 30 pages left of this volume, which means that by the time I get back to my house from Spotlight, I can start on the second. As always, it is the end of the night. You can find me in my spot, in my reading chair, about to start reading. I'm just about to start the last few pages of the first volume of Jonathan Strange, and then I will move on to volume two. It is about 10.30. I'm thinking I can probably read till about 11.30. Heading off to work. It's 8.30 in the morning. I have a babysitting job from 9 to 12 and then I'm going to a friend's house because I'm house sitting there. I have to figure out what I need to do and then I'm going to the doctor's and then I will be back home packing and then my boyfriend's picking me up and I'm going to his house and then tonight will be a really chill night and I'm really excited to just curl off on the couch and watch like hours of TV. I'm so excited. But anyway, task two of the day is ticked off. The sun has come out which is super exciting. It's still cold but like the sun's out and I'm going to read while I walk. Hello and welcome to week two of the Readathon. It is Saturday the 6th of July. I'm heading to work. Yes, it was really nice. Today is cold and rainy and windy. I am slowly making my way through Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I don't know if you can hear me, sorry. Um, I don't actually know if I'm gonna finish it. That's what I'm coming to realize. But I'm heading to work now. Then my friend's picking me up. We're going, making cookies, filming a brand new Bibliothon video, and then, yes. Hello, it's been a while. It's now Wednesday the 11th of July. I haven't vlogged in I think two days, maybe three. Um, because I was at my boyfriend's house and we didn't really leave. I didn't do any reading. I literally have read 30 pages in the last two, three days. Um, we painted his room, it was really cool, but I didn't want to vlog. I'm here today, same beanie, same scarf, different gray jumper. And I'm heading to a babysitting job. From my babysitting job, I'm heading to the airport bus, the airport and then to Adelaide. I'm gonna be able to read heaps today. And then I'm to Adelaide. I'm gonna be there for five days and I'm so excited. So I definitely will vlog there. That's all. Who knew the airport would be like dead at seven o'clock at night, but cool. Literally, literally dead. There's no one here in the domestic terminal. The, the, there was no good food. I have to get, there's no good food. It's, I'm mad. Coffee was expensive, so I had sushi rolls. Although the dude, I only bought two sushi rolls and he gave me three, but they tasted like shit, but they made me less hungry. And then I got a muesli bar. And now I have an hour and a half until my plane leaves and I'm just gonna read. So, yeah. Hello, it's Thursday and I'm in Adelaide with my friend Bonnie and I'm so excited. It is 9.39 a.m. We're going shopping. We're going to a bookstore, of course. I'll show you around. And then I'm just heading home and having a read. And then we're gonna catch up in Melbourne. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm in Adelaide. Um, I don't know if I said earlier today, it is now Thursday, the 12th, 11th, 12th. The twelfth, um, which means it is the last day of the term double readathon today, and I have 100 pages left of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I read like a crazy amount of pages yesterday on the plane. Um, was really liking it. Fell out of it for a little bit. Coming back into it, really liking it. Hello. It is now 9:30 at night, and I have 20 more pages left of this to read, and I am so excited. After I finish this, I'm going to straight away read it I can definitely get it done and then I'm going to edit this so that I can get it up and hopefully plan some more videos I can't remember when I last filmed had a bath did some reading oh I do remember actually um what I didn't tell you was that today I bought a book a little book haul I was in the city with my friend and we were looking around at Dimmicks and then we went away to buy stationery and then she left and I went back to Dimmicks there was a lot of books that I wanted to to read but I ended up getting the cheapest one of, of my 
plentiful list, which I'm very excited about. And that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to get to this, but I'm so excited. So excited. And my friend lent me Slapstick or Lonesome No More by Kurt Vonnegut. I haven't read any Kurt Vonnegut, but she said I have to read it and she lent it to me. So I will. I'm going to finish this book now. And the Tome Topple Readathon is over. It ended last night. I finished Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell at about 9.30 and then just started editing this very vlog. It is now the next day. It is Friday. Today I'm just going to do some writing, planning, maybe editing some videos and then tomorrow the Biennium Bibliothon starts. I'm very excited. I had a lot of fun this week. In total we finished um, Killing Lessons by Soul Black. We started The Invention of Hugo Cabaret and finished that. We finished And Started Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness and we finished and started The Mammoth Task of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I read everything that was on my TBR. I'm very happy about it. Thank you. I'll see you next time.